Hello and welcome back to everyone. My name is Shiva Magarwal and this is AI in Machine Learning Deep Learning Project Series in Python. This will be our fourth project called as Heart Attack Risk Prediction. So this will be based on medical diagnosis of patients where we'll predict whether they are on a risk of heart attack or not. Okay. So in the previous projects, we have been to finances where we dealt with credit card risk prediction. Then we went to a city problem that is bike demand analysis. Then we went to uh, another project called as wine quality that was commercial demand. And now we are in the medical sector with heart attack risk prediction. These all projects you can use in your college or for learning machine learning and deep learning. Okay. Like the last projects, we'll look at data set, we'll clean it, plot, train and test. And finally, like the project three, that is wide quality prediction, we'll try to predict the risk of heart attack of patients using some diagnosis parameters. Okay, so without wasting any time, let us proceed with the data set. <coughs> On Kaggle community platform, I have this heart attack analysis and prediction data set contributed by Rashik Rahman almost two years ago. Like the last video, you can see there are a lot of upwards and the data set is just 4 KB. However, the data set is quite good. That is why I have selected it for this project. Let us look at this data set. So it is providing us various parameters like age, their gender, their exercise and genus, their major vessels, their chest pain. So this is quite a nice parameter that is chest pain. Chest pain can be of these four types that are the values supplied in this data set. Then there is resting blood pressure, cholesterol, fasting, blood sugar. All these values that are you are seeing over here are directly related to heart attack that we all know. Okay, so whether it is India or in the world, we have seen in the past few years that heart attacks are increasing day by day. People are suffering from heart diseases. They are more prone to heart attack than before. And this might be the reasons like cholesterol, fasting, sugar or some chest pains like these things will be a part of uh, contribution towards heart attack, right? So this project will be used to predict the risk regarding that. Then we have some resting electrocardiographic results. Finally, we have maximum heart rate achieved. Okay, so that is also quite nice parameter. And as an output variable, we have this target. The target zero will means lesser chances of heart attack, while target one will mean a more chance of heart attack. So based on all those independent variables that are supplied over here, we can predict or not uh, whether or not this target variable will be zero or one. That is there are chances of heart attack or not, right? Let us look at the CSV file that we have. It is called heart.csv, which has 14 columns out of which 13 would be independent while one output will be dependent column. If you will see over here, we have ages from 29 to 77. That's a lot of values. We have genders zero for male and one for female. We have chest pain and all these values. We have quite variation of values you can see in these graphs. So we don't have to plot them in the next video. You can already see what these values are catering for. Okay. Finally, if we see there are a lot of values for both the categorical variables that is zero and one. <coughs> there are a lot of values where heart attack risk is very low and there are a lot of values as well where heart attack risk is very high. Okay, so this is quite nice data set that we are going to use. You can see that this data set has over 606,000 views. That is about 6 lakhs, above 6 lakh views and almost 1 lakh downloads. So this is quite useful data set that is available on Kaggle community platform. I'll be using this platform for data set as well as notebook creation. Here you can see a new notebook icon, which will be used for creating our project. I'll mention the link to this data set and the notebook in the description box. You can go over there. You can create your project on Kaggle because Kaggle supplies you with all the necessities that are hardware requirements or software requirements like libraries pre-installed in the Kaggle platform. Okay, so you don't have to set up your old PC or if you have a new PC, you don't have to worry about your condition of the PC. Kaggle will handle all the requirements for you. Okay, so that is how we'll uh, contribute this project. Let us go back and see what are the other things. Lastly, I want to say that like, like the last one, 
will also predict whether or not a patient is on a risk of heart attack or not okay so we'll supply some values taking from the user and we'll say whether or not they will be uh, having a risk okay you can use this project for your analysis or uh, checking if the, the, the diagnosis that are uh, that are being used in your neighborhood or like that are correct or not okay so this will be quite useful project because heart attacks are quite common problem right nowadays so we'll be creating this project next in the video see you then